Hi, my name's John from Efficiency Matrix, and today we're going to be covering evaporative cooling. These thermal images show how evaporative cooling vents perform during a blowout or test. Evaporative cooling works quite well on non-humid days, but during winter periods, the system becomes a very inefficient part of your home. With evaporative cooling, there's a big overhead on your heating costs. There's yearly maintenance that you need to do. Uh, ceiling insulation becomes less effective. Humidity can become a bit of a problem and insulation consistency can also cause problems with insulation compression. Today we're going to show you how air leakage occurs in the duct system of an evaporative cooler and how much air leakage is occurring through a relatively new evaporative cooler. A quick and easy way to cover up evaporative cooling vents during winter periods is to use contact. Uh, this has to be done every year and is not a permanent fix but can still work. Firstly, the evaporative cooler needed to be removed. Then the roof needed to be repaired and all the ducting pulled out. Wood was screwed into either side of the hole in order to fix the gyprock to. All the evaporative cooling vent holes needed to be patched up with gyprock. Insulation was then placed behind the repaired gyprock. And then the gyprock needed to be made airtight and neat, ready for painting. By focusing on air tightness in the building envelope, money saved in summer is not lost in winter. Split system cooling efficiency is also reaching impressive levels of energy efficiency without the leaky ductwork. Now for the blower door test results. The results from the building pressurization really highlighted how much air leakage is occurring through the ducted heating system. There was a lot of air leakage that was occurring from around the actual evaporative cooling vents as, as well as through the actual vents coming from the evaporative cooler itself. With a 22% reduction in air leakage to the roof, the chimney effect in this house will be substantially reduced during winter. Hope this video helped and be sure to join our video channel on YouTube which is Efficiency Matrix and should you have any questions please don't hesitate to contact us via email.